Oke okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is tutorial series number 28 here in Marlikan's Code. Okay, we are still in this Ayabi series guys, uh, the sub uh, series here in uh, Golang Web Development uh, uh, series because it's a very very huge topic guys, okay? And um we are we are about to continue our um, activation guys, uh, account activation for the new users registration. So uh, we will validate when the when the user click on that uh, confirm registration button from their email address, from their email inbox, or uh, whether in their spam email or their inbox. Uh, doesn't uh, matter at this moment because uh, we want to ensure that when the user uh, clicks on uh, the confirm registration button there, then we will uh, proceed with uh, another static page. Um, whether it is a uh, successful or, or not then we will uh, throw the 404 um, error message that we have done in our previous discussion so uh, right now we, we are continuing on uh, we will validate if the token that um, the user is um, about to click uh, is it uh, valid or not so by default we will set to 30 minutes after the user registered to the register to our site and then um, and then it will receive into the email address there and then uh, if they don't click for that uh, for about uh, 30 minutes then we then it will uh, we will throw the standard 404 error that means um, the token probably it is already expired okay so we will continuing on and um okay guys let's dive into this tutorial <laughs> okay guys uh, we will continue okay um this is what we have left out guys and then um we would like to enable this uh, what they call this uh, ac activate account right now we have disable disabling this now we enabled back but uh, now we need to create this uh, function guys okay uh and then we will uh, after that uh, we will update our uh, mysql table there the is active uh, status there which is uh, by default uh, it is false or zero or off or something like that guys okay and uh, this uh, URL, url pattern now is uh, quite uh, uh, not not usual in this uh, topic now guys because uh, we have now we have this uh, token variable here inside normally in uh, golang uh, what they call this uh, uh, gorilla max there um, you can place uh, the variable inside here and then uh, as uh, one of the arguments or uh, parameters of that uh, url so for example slash maharlikans code dot com or whatever the site it is you have then slash the activation here and then uh, of course your uh, variable inside so we will uh, get whatever the data inside in this uh, after this slash here guys so we will uh, capture that means this is the token part here this is the url pattern for our activation email so this this one we have done in um, in our previous uh, discussion guys uh, remember when we have this um, register here uh, we have fixed at the moment here guys so and then the token there this is how we going to feed the information on that uh, after this slash here so that means it is a token so we need to feed some data there otherwise if you don't have this data here then we will throw the standard uh, 404 okay so and then uh, we have embedded the email confirmation url here uh, whatever the url you are um, um, creating and then uh, we will uh, proceed with this email confirmation url so that one we have done in our previous discussion okay so uh, this is what i'm talking about guys uh, this is what we have uh, left out this is the confirm uh, confirm registration or whatsoever your button here or activate or something or something like that guys so just to confirm the user's uh, new account and then we will change accordingly uh, this uh, i already clean clean up the the previous record but uh, we will get here uh, this field uh, is active we will change the status from zero to one 
okay that means it is uh, active guys uh, because he already or he or she the user there um, click this uh, confirm registration as long that this uh, token is uh, still uh, valid guys within uh, 30 minutes uh, period but we can uh, fully adjust this it's up to your own uh, liking there okay so we will continue um this is what we have done here guys in our previous discussion but if, of course uh, if you have uh, launched this into the production site we will uh, uh, switch this uh, automatically guys um, maybe we can uh, probably we can uh, programmatically uh, feed this um, this uh, URL pattern here because we have done that in our um, what they call in our main itself here uh, okay we have done this is prod server mode uh, right now by default is uh, we set it to false okay so but uh, if, if you are in the production site you just change this to true then um, the rest will uh, will follow here guys because we programmatically uh, set here like uh, if this variable global variable here from our uh, main uh, main dot go so if this one is true then we can uh, use whatever the url that we are using like your of course your domain name already guys or or a public ip address or whatsoever that one okay so uh, it's just a sidetrack guys <laughs> okay um we will continue so this part is we have done but right now we already enabled this um, this one guys so we need to uh, activate this we need to create a new function for these guys to cater this uh, uh, URL here so we will uh, proceed it with the yeah, the bottom part okay so we will uh, continue okay guys um, I already pasted this uh, W then I think I need to copy guys no need to keep typing this <laughs> okay so hold on guys okay and then um, of course we put our lovely text here <laughs> uh, okay this is to activate is to activate the new users registration uh, new users registration from from or uh, directly from the users um email address oops okay enough then uh, of course we need to copy this guys this one is all standard one so uh, probably maybe we can copy this as well this one all standard one guys okay hold on guys um right now this one will be changed so what could be our uh, account activation um, we will create this new uh, static uh, static HTML guys later on account activation complete so we will be proceeding with the rocket there or something guys so okay guys um, we will continue um, at this part we will um, create this uh, param now so we will just want to change this um, text here so we just want to change first guys these are all the static one your new your new config site short name so that means whatever your short name there account has been activated okay Oh, no, the short name uh, okay, just uh, this one is necessary also guys because uh, we need to give the proper name here for our page title and description guys your newly created um, whatever is your name there and then we just concatenate uh, okay account has been successfully successfully ac activated okay that one enough and then uh, these are all the standard here so 
probably we will create this uh, later on guys so um, okay we will uh, continue we need to extract the parameter here guys uh, right now in the uh, golang itself um, the account activation we don't pass on the arguments here guys uh, we will uh, capture it uh, inside these uh, max variables uh, from other languages um, they will uh, capture all the arguments here like in uh, in uh, python or django there they, they will they will just uh, add on all those uh, parameters there but uh, for uh, for golang uh, it's not necessary guys we need to capture it in the different way here so params like uh, this is your parameters guys whatever is your parameter there and then uh, bars you can add multiple parameters there guys uh, it's up to you and then uh, we need to uh, capture the token as well here uh, params then we can use these params now and then uh, get that exact name here uh, here guys so exact uh, variable name because we are passing on that uh, token variable there so we will uh, capture this and then uh, we need to extract here the variables guys extract the uh, we are using this timaan token guys so i just uh, name it like this so this is our own uh, timaan uh, we call it the timaan payload guys okay okay we need to extract now because we already encrypted that uh, url text there guys okay this is how we can uh, decode uh, the payload guys okay this one we have done in our previous discussion guys uh, in my previous videos there so you can uh, take a look so we just log uh, use our um, itr log here okay then error after this um we will uh, now we have already decoded the the token there guys uh remember that we have that uh, funny text there that um, a lot of uh, strings already encrypted but that script there that thing there is already have this uh, this payload is already exists there guys so we just want to decode it okay uh, username then uh, we just want to put here because uh, our we know our data consists of uh this uh, payload guys we can cons consist of um username and the email address there this is our uh, actual uh payload guys that we are um, embedded embedding in that uh, url the moment this uh, timaan token generate the token uh, we we embed this username so the username itself in that url is there already is present so and then of course the expiry on uh, it's up to you guys you can adjust here uh, but uh, the standard way is uh, 30 minutes guys uh, okay so we just continue here uh, okay so i want to capture the username guys so payload here like um this one okay we just want to extract back payload and then uh, for field i just want to name this variable guys field and then the uh, value there you need to range it uh payload okay so itr log uh logging is very important guys because we we will know uh, from our uh, program there that um, is there any errors there then we can uh, fix um, as much as possible guys okay so we just want to extract here and then uh, value okay i just want to know and then we will uh, put it on our log here um, it will automatically log guys whatever it is so we just uh, delete those previous logs there just keep hanging there <laughs> okay um uh, if uh strings that our favorite the uh, function here guys you always check if the field um is exactly the username okay if this field is a username because we have the uh, many uh oh, i remember we have a total uh 
three um what they call this payload guys um uh, the other one is the expiry on but this is our customized one so we embed this uh, exact name is a uh, username uh please match that one guys or so whatever you are um, adding into your um, this payload here this section here uh you need to match this is the field name here this is the exact field name and then the value field name and then value okay so field name again guys uh, value okay <laughs> and then um this is the final uh, token here and then the expiry expire on okay there is a expire on here guys so we will uh, auto come automatically that one is uh, from the timahan itself okay so the token there we will check that uh, expiry on uh, as well later on guys okay this is the exact name all capitalized it's up to you guys well, normally we will capitalize everything guys okay and then uh, we will use that uh, username variable to capture the username sprint if uh, one of our favorite function as well guys this one very helpful guys to convert uh, whatever it is into a string value there okay because uh, right now this uh, field uh, this one is a string but uh, this one we will uh, automatically convert guys so i mean the value here is an interface uh, type uh, we will convert this into a string whatever you are adding there uh, most especially this um, interface so the value here is the value okay so um okay we will continue guys so we just put some marking here uh for your information guys we don't uh, neglect this <laughs> okay uh, get the username value and then uh, we will continue to check guys further uh if length what they call this um okay now we will check these uh, strings that uh, trim space if uh, this username variable is um it's not uh, exist guys or something like uh, empty or something so we don't uh, allow to activate of course guys then we will uh, throw the 404 here guys by calling this a uh, page not found function this is our own function here and then you just supply with the standard uh, response writer and then the request which is the wr the famous wr okay uh, we will continue so if this one is empty guys meaning uh, the payload uh, is not exist or something because by default is empty then we will automatically uh, throw the 404 our own customized 404 error guys okay we will call this uh, function directly instead of the using that http redirect we don't uh, we don't use that so we just call directly that the page not found uh, function and then you just pass on this uh, wr okay and then uh, uh, one more thing guys we need to check uh, this is the main thing as well check the uh, timaan uh, token expiry okay now we will uh, check the time that now guys uh, we will match from our server this is the current time from our server unix okay um, then that expire on so from the token payload here guys the the expire on and this is the mandatory field of uh present in the timaan token itself so we now we are using this uh, expire on um early on we just scroll up a bit uh we are we have we we enter this the uh, expire on field here the configuration then we feed with the 30 minutes then we will convert because this one is a uh, in 64 type so you will convert this into unix time uh, which is the in 64 guys so easy for us to uh, match because these are all integer value in 64 so uh, this is how you deal with the time in uh, golang as well guys uh, you will convert you convert it into unix time so 
okay hold on guys and then uh, you just uh, convert that into unix time now is both integer uh, integer value okay so if this uh, current time uh, convert to unix time is uh, in both in 64 already guys so you can uh, use the numeric uh, uh, comparison like this uh, greater greater or greater or equal to or something like that guys so greater than uh, this time that now is if, if the current time uh, converted into the unix time um, is already uh, exceed guys i mean uh, it's already expired okay uh, with uh, whatever we set in our uh, token expire on then we will uh, um, throw the standard 404 guys uh, but uh, before that we just want to log as well guys but this one is it's up to you guys uh, we uh, i love to um, log uh, everything guys but at least uh, we will know uh, what happened if the user uh, complain or something like how 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 come my uh, user cannot uh, new users account cannot activate then we will uh, we can uh, investigate in our itr log okay guys uh, uh, practice this way guys is more uh, uh, convenient and very helpful for you in troubleshooting in uh, later on part okay uh, expire on so we we will log everything whatever the data there you can add more uh, information guys in your log then we will throw the standard uh, 404 here guys w then r okay so now we have done and then uh, we will be refining uh, a little bit guys now in this case we will uh, we will continue with the thing okay guys uh, we will uh, continue we will have something like uh, we need to check our database now guys okay uh, open the mysql mysql uh, db connection okay uh, db uh, b as usual and then uh, because we already set this in, uh, on top guys okay open then uh, mysql and then our uh, own customized function here uh, db con str and then uh, we just put blank as our default one is we, we only have one database there so if any errors and then uh, nil then um, we will just uh, throw an error here guys okay hold on guys um, tr log dot uh, error then we just throw directly the error okay and then uh, we defer here db uh, b uh, that close okay so at the moment we need to create a new function guys now we need to touch with our uh, mysql table there uh, now activate the users mm, uh, new account which is the is active is equal to true status just change the status guys okay and then uh, we will create here guys um, okay uh, I think we I need to go to the users here guys so what we're going to do is uh, we need to create a new users uh, function here guys okay so we to cater this ac activate activate you user okay uh we will uh, create a new function here guys so we will call it um activate activate user okay and then uh, of course our standard one so i don't want to repeat myself again okay and then uh this would be boolean value here so this one our lovely text uh, i'll update the specific uh, user status to 
true or active oh, like that one. <laughs> should be enough okay and then um, um, okay I think we no need to add this uh, update then error uh, we will uh, update directly now guys uh, dbcon dot uh, prepare we are still using this prepare of course update so this is this uh, we will uh, concatenate here guys hold on okay this is the yabi table guys so i don't want to uh, change that <laughs> this we only have one table guys okay update uh, yabi table this is our yabi table and then uh, set is uh, active is equal to question mark uh, where um username is equal to question mark again so this one is a uh, more uh, secure guys uh, this is the standard way guys uh, all the question mark there uh this will be escaped automatically by the golang mysql uh server i my mysql uh, library there okay so if error here then we will check okay then return false if any errors then we don't uh, set to true and then um, pass on all the uh, what they call this uh, parameter here first parameters uh, we only have one or two um, this one is uh, we need to change this into username guys not the email so uh, pass on the parameter values okay we just want to take note guys okay the update statement here is the uh, same thing with the exact and then uh, we will set it to true guys and then the username okay you need to match guys remember when you have this uh, careful with this um, uh, what do you call this uh, argument here uh, the first one should be the uh, it would be the series it would be match in your uh, exact statement here guys so your first uh, question mark your first argument here is the is active field so you will supply it accordingly with the um, true or whatever is your field here and then the second uh, argument which is the question mark here the question mark symbol uh, then the, you will feed um, with of course you need to match guys okay remember that please you need to match uh, rather than uh, scratching and troubleshooting <laughs> most especially guys when you have many um, fields here already in, uh, under the uh, any statements that you are preparing here uh, please uh, remember that it must be in the correct sequence okay it's active and then you match it here and then the second one then you match accordingly here okay uh, just a um, quick reminder guys <laughs> uh, activate the users status now okay so now we are activating guys and then of course don't forget to close guys your connection okay if it is just hanging there then um, problem guys you have too many um unclosed uh, mysql connection so better you close it otherwise you have problem with your uh, mysql uh, connection because there is a limit as well there okay um and then it will consume a lot of memory in your um of course your server guys so we have done this activate user uh, with the corresponding update statement here it's just a simple uh, straightforward update guys okay update table name set uh, whatever the field here is active in our case and then uh, of course uh, username so our username is a unique one so we we only want to state it here so okay guys uh, we can add the uh, add-on here like uh, is active is false then uh, but in this case uh, there's no point guys um, because this one is a new user's registration so uh, by default it is uh, of course it is uh, false there so but uh, no no harm when you add something there but this one is, um, is enough for us guys okay
okay guys so we will continue we have done this so we will copy this activate new function and uh, now we can uh, check because this one this function returns a boolean function guys so we will uh, check if it is true or not then uh, we will know okay so uh, we will have some uh, local variable here okay so we call the our, our localized uh, yabi thing here then activate user okay yeah, good then we will pass on this um, database connection and then uh, the username because we have a username here we already extracted from the payload uh, argument the parameters there okay so we will uh, now we will check if is active then uh, if it is active guys then if it returns then uh, i mean uh, this function returns true that means we already uh, set the mysql table there for this specific user uh, this active status is true already guys so we will return it with true otherwise there, if there is some error here or something then we just uh, uh, we just uh, return it with false guys okay whatever the reason whatever the reason and the return we cannot find the user then it will just simply return it with the uh, um, false then uh, this statement here is true so we just want to cut this and then uh, put it inside guys okay so we will display nicely with this uh, uh, our static uh, we need to create this uh, please remember me guys okay <laughs> just kidding uh, okay uh, okay we will uh, then after this we will put an else statement here guys since we don't return yeah by the way guys you can uh, return for those i um, uh, don't know yet uh, you can only create an else statement uh, within the goes if else statement when you don't return with the thing you don't return like uh, i mean what i mean is when, we, when you return uh, something like uh, something like this guys then uh, your else statement uh, is not uh, it's not working guys I mean uh, no need for you to put the else statement because you already returned this is how go is uh, maintaining its code okay uh, let me try again just a sidetrack yeah? as, you, as you can see there is an error already guys okay uh, as you can see if block ends with a return statement so drop this else and out out then so that means you there's just a sidetrack again guys <laughs> just a hint <laughs> uh okay so if we remove that uh, return statement there then you can use the else statement okay whatever the if else uh, else if or something and then uh, we will return the page not found wr okay now it's okay uh not yet ready to go <laughs> We need to create one more thing guys uh, another uh, uh, this is the new static page here so we will create under this uh, front okay and then uh, html uh, just follow with the same thing here guys the the 404 one okay okay guys uh, to catch our time i pasted the similar with this uh, 404 html here just it's a good thing if you have a template guys then uh, you can uh, uh, just uh, replace whatever you, you can save a lot of time uh, when you're doing this uh, template thing guys okay uh, i just change here with the new account activation completed so these are all our static um uh, what do you call the html here and then of course uh, there is a image here uh, new account activation completed so we will uh, we will see this uh, beautiful uh, simplified decent enough whatever the title it is <laughs> of this uh, account activation uh, complete later on later on part uh, later on guys when we um, demo and then uh, we will uh, activate these new users okay uh, new account activation completed your password has been set you may go ahead and uh, log in now okay and then the, all the standard thing here so we are ready to go um i think okay this one okay we no need no need for us to uh, export uh no need for us to build the wasam because uh, we have done the wasam there 
so we are just a purely thing here guys so go run main.go again uh, i think it's ready to go now should be no error okay it's good uh we will um, this is my uh, thing we just want to delete uh delete this one guys because uh, we want a clear one and then we also have i think we don't have also okay good we just want to refresh don't forget to refresh Control f5 your um your uh, browser guys sometimes the browser always uh cache uh, most of the thing guys okay so we will uh, add again the, our favorite uh, example users here support at uh, maharlikensco.com again the password we don't want uh, to trouble ourselves at the moment okay uh, with the long password guys okay uh, register um we will expect to redirect okay this is we have done this we will check uh, at the moment here if we add it okay added and then of course uh, this is the critical now guys uh, um the is active is zero okay uh need to refresh our thing uh, our email here it takes some time mm, okay not yet please okay now he's coming uh, now this uh, take a look guys when i click this this is our last part uh, now we have uh, activated our uh, i need to click this guys uh, but please uh, we need to check for the first uh this is our um, account activation guys this is the link okay this is the link here so this is the actual link so the embedded uh payload here is uh, after this activate and slash here so we need to extract uh, this one these strings here is contained with the username and the email address so now uh, it's already embedded in this um, thing guys but the syn grid also um, encrypt this this is a good thing if you are using a syn grid uh, smtp guys so if you click this uh, remember that we have the is active status here is zero uh, after the user click that click this then we will it will change to one that means it's already active user okay so we will try to click guys let's see what will happen <laughs> okay now i'm clicking page not found <laughs> okay um maybe something wrong there guys need to investigate further new user activate okay account activation sent okay we need to check further guys let's see if we already changed <laughs> no no that means something wrong there so we need to check our log uh itr log we need to go to the bottom there let's see what's the problem register hopefully we can find something account activation sent register this one done okay x now we can um we can uh, get the value as uh, just an example here guys from our uh, username here because this is our key value that we need to match from our mysql table okay if match there then we need to activate that user okay so we can um, remove this um maybe not at the, not at the moment because we need to test further this um, uh, expire on guys so we need to uh expire it uh, in a few seconds guys because uh if the user we just to simulate only uh we have here in a minute so we can change this into a second guys and then we can just um change it with uh, maybe uh, five seconds so when we can uh, expire quickly okay well, we will uh, change that later on so when the moment when we simulate this when the moment when the user click this and then um, the token already expired guys then uh, it will return a 404 should be returned the 404 guys so uh, we just want to delete again uh, just to clear out and then uh, we need to empty again the table guys just for the sake of testing 
and then we go back to the register there okay but before that we need to refresh our uh, thing because we have changes in our uh, golang code here okay um now we are um, expiring uh, in five seconds time guys okay uh, we just want to run and then we will register it again okay so just a quick hard refresh um harlicans and then uh, support harlicans guys okay <laughs> thank you uh okay uh, i want to click the register okay the lovely email sent then of course this one it is there default is false now uh, the expiration there is uh, five seconds guys uh it should be expired expired now should be because that one is a uh, five seconds only so the moment the email arrived it <laughs> it is already expired guys doesn't make any sense but this one is for the testing purpose guys um, just to test whether the expire on for the demand token is uh, expired or not so the moment i click this uh, to simulate the user uh like uh, the user uh take time to click that uh, button there or just he maybe forget then uh, now it's uh, try to confirm it should return the 404 okay good <laughs> okay because this one is expired guys so we have our uh, although we can uh, capture the harlicans here but uh, we can check our log guys because we log uh, this uh, timahan token here that's why it returns a uh, 404 here uh, there is a timahan token has expired so we want to check this log from our uh, lovely itr log here okay so okay guys it captures the log uh, thing guys that it that means uh, the the user for this uh, username maharlikans demand token payload so we already we already log everything here guys so token uh the demand token has been expired so this is the the, the unix timestamp guys so that means if you see this then we we already the the token expired so when the user complain to you something like uh, how come i cannot uh, think uh the beauty of logging is uh, it's there guys so we can investigate uh, further okay and then uh, quickly so we can uh, you can log more uh, thing here uh, like uh, the username as well or uh, we can add the username or whatever the user okay uh, that one is a uh, make sense guys so the username we can um, we can log here as well guys uh demand token has been expired uh for for user for username we want to add this one guys oh you know <laughs> it's not a variable okay uh, this is the variable and then uh, of course uh, just split it with the time guys okay I like that again. Okay. Oops. Need to. Um. Okay. Why is it showing? Okay. Mm hmm. Let me just put like that, guys. Can. Okay. Uh, now it should be okay. So you can uh, you can add uh, further here, guys. You can add more m multiple uh, logs so that uh, we can investigate uh, easily. So that means the user take time to click our uh, confirmation button there. Okay, so this should be enough for today's discussion, guys. And um, uh, probably we have done this. Then uh, we can. I uh, just want to return back this uh, thing. Uh, this one is for the the minutes guys so we can set uh 30 minutes here it's a standard uh across the uh knowledge there guys okay so probably we have done this and then uh, we have all successfully tested and then we have done this confirmation registration here uh the next step would be the login guys so uh we can uh, log in from our uh, 
uh, dashboard there but uh, of course we need to authenticate guys uh, this uh, user registration here and then uh, we have done this uh, registration then the next step uh, for us in uh, Marlacan's code here we need to log in that user because since this user is already uh, activate guys so okay so this user is acti active already guys so we can uh, log in here and then uh, authenticate again all those uh, password correct or not and then after that we can uh, uh, we will uh, check this uh, forgot password guys so we need to reset the password okay and then we will send out the email again and then uh, click that the uh, um, token there and then uh, they can change the password with uh, with the with this username and the new password okay um okay guys uh we need to test uh one more thing guys uh just a quick one um we need to test this uh expire on guys so whether this this one is uh now it's a uh, default by 30 minutes so we just want to expire uh, quickly guys okay so five seconds okay and then uh, from this uh, demand token here we will uh, change uh, we will uh, log accordingly guys uh, i added this uh, username and then of course the time right now so we will uh, test further here guys so we just want to clear everything first and then uh, we will register it again with a very quick one we, we want to test if the expire uh, token expiry is uh, uh is still valid or not guys then uh, okay we will uh, test quick hard refresh and then uh, oh no uh, this one is a sign up uh register here again uh, our favorite one support marlicans guys okay thank you <laughs> again <laughs> okay uh we set the expiration for the token guys is for uh, i think it's oh yeah it's five seconds uh by by now it should uh, expire guys so the moment when the user click to confirm the registration guys then it will uh, return to uh it will return with the standard uh, 404 error guys okay and then um uh, because it takes time but normally we will set it to 30 minutes but we just want to simulate only if the expire um, token is still uh, activating or not. so we need to test further guys okay i just want to refresh okay now is the email is coming up uh, by now when i click this uh, this scenario is like uh, the user uh, take time to click the buttons here to register his account or her account okay you just want to click okay now it's good uh, because it's already expired guys uh, we want to check uh, further here in our thing uh, the username is uh, although it's still capturing but uh, uh, we need to check our log because uh, we are logging uh, everything here guys so that means this Timaan token expired for username Harlequins. okay these are all the unix timestamp now it's totally um, working guys because we set uh it to uh, we set it to five seconds to simulate uh, this token is totally working as well guys so we put back this uh, time that into a minute okay so we will put this into uh, 30 minutes okay so give uh, some uh, buffer time for the user to click guys okay uh that's all for today guys okay that's all for today guys and um, i hope you enjoy and um, enjoy learning here in um, harlequin's code and uh, i hope i impart with you especially our students out there um, our friends students out there who are listening uh, thank you so much for your support and uh, here in harlequin's code and um, i hope you learn a lot here in harlequin's code especially this uh, golang web development series here in marlikan's code guys so thank you so much uh, for watching uh, my video and the tutorial series here and uh, uh, now is our uh, interesting part is our shout out section in uh, marlikan's code okay uh we will uh, we will shout out one user from uh, from our previous uh, video that uh, commented out so we will shout out uh, our student here name uh, Tushar Gegi. Uh, I'm sorry how if I, I pronounce it wrongly. Um, 
Toshar Gegi. So the his uh, comment will be a uh, flash in our uh, screen, uh, the bottom there. <laughs> Okay, so for those people um, uh, who wanted me to shout out your name to honor you to honor you here in Mahalakans Code, just comment uh, in this uh, video, and then um, um, I, I'm gladly to I'm happy to mention your name here in our uh, Mahalakans Code. And um, thank you so much for your support, and um, I hope uh, uh, more people will <laughs> will share the. Um, share our uh, videos here in Mahalikan Scout guys so thank you so much and um, for all of you there uh, supporting my channel uh, thank you for those people who don't subscribe yet please consider subscribing so that you can have more videos like this and uh, I'll be inspired to <laughs> create more videos like this guys um, okay uh, just, just this is one of my uh, passion only guys okay uh, just to share the knowledge there okay so these are all the free one <laughs> okay for because for others they will uh, you will go with the own course or something guys and then they will uh, you will pay more than, but here marlikans i will i'll uh, share it with you guys here uh, with the actual code of course and um, we will publish this in our uh, github uh, in by batch so thank you so much for watching my video kindly subscribe to my channel again guys uh, for those people who don't subscribe yet um thank you so much for your support may god bless us all thank you and uh, bye bye keep safe everyone <laughs>